Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Hurdy Gurdy. We are now going to take on Moonlit Peaks, another one of my favorite levels. I really like the snow levels in this game. Uh, this one has my favorite creatures in it, the Gritters. Um, they're pretty cool. They kind of remind me of the Twonkies from um, Jimmy Neutron, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they're like the, the gremlins that turn evil I like the little gremlin thing. Uh, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Soon enough. Sorry, I was. <clears throat> my, my throat's kind of like itching and it's kind of hard to talk right now. But it's fine. Anyway, so we're going to uh, run to Molly real quick. Hey, Gertie! Those things over there are pretty dangerous, you know? What are they? They look kind of mean. Those things are grimps. Nasty critters they are. They'll not think twice about taking a bite out of you or any of your herding creatures. They love the sound of the magic flute, though. It seems to soothe their natural instincts and might protect you whilst you're playing it. Right, I'm off before they get me. Grimps, that's what they're called, not gritters. I don't know what a gritter is. Sounds like a chicken fritter or something. <laughs> Sounds like a type of food. Mmm, chicken fritters. I'm gonna have that for lunch. Fuck it. Ooh. Nah, you know what? You know what I want? I want that Texas Roadhouse shit, you know? What are they called? The trickin', trickin critters. Yeah! Not fritters. Fritters sounds like a waffle or something. I want them chicken critters. Mm. Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> All right, see, so what's cool about this level is that the, the Gromps um, actually have white fur. We're gonna take out that Gromp in the end. Uh, that Gromp is going to be a nuisance to move through. But here are the Grimps. They will attack you, but you can use your magic flute to uh, lure them. Now, I was kind of dumb. I, I thought if, as long as I played the flute, they wouldn't attack anything, but I was dead wrong. They're gonna like annihilate this entire herd of dupes real quick. <laughs> and look at these dupes, they also change colors. I thought that was really neat. Yep, and the uh, critters just ate everything. So there goes all the all the dupes. Oops. <laughs> just just annihilated all fifteen dupes. But fuck the dupe, so you know what? I'm not even angry. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Fuck it. So these guys should protect me against that Gromp, right? They don't protect you against the Gromps. Actually, the Gromps will just keep attacking you anyway. I was like, yeah, attack the Gromp, and, and then I got decked in the face. But you kind of want to do that. You kind of want to get attacked by the Gromps here, because occasionally they'll drop you onto that ice patch right there. And if you've noticed... Uh, the ice began to crack. Just don't get attacked by the Grumps, the Grimps, because they will, uh, they won't do anything for you. But the Grumps get attacked by them until you, uh, shatter the floor. Occasionally. Sometimes they just scare away these weird bug things. I mean, that's all good too, I guess, you know? Fuck it. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway. So we're going to lead these Grimps all the way over into an area. I believe the Grimps, if you have like a group of Grimps with another group of Grimps, they won't attack you. But as long as you are able to lure the Grimps over to a thing, you should be fine. Again, get attacked by as many Grimps as you can so that you can shatter that ice cube. Uh, that's actually where the... Funny enough, that's where the dupe pen is. So... <laughs> You decide to get attacked by the the Gromps before dealing with the dupes. 
That's what you're supposed to do. Now I got turned around real easy when I got launched. <laughs> but yeah, if you play your flute, you'll be safe. I think even playing the flute, you're able to outrun the, uh, not, not outrun, but uh, out jump the Gromp. So let's lure the Gromp all the way over to an area with other Gromps. Now the Gromps won't eat the Grimps and the Grimps won't eat the Gromps. I think they have like a mutual symbiosis going on or some shit where they, uh, they eat, uh, everything that's not them and they work together harmoniously to kill Gertie. That's how this game works, right? That's my head cannon. <laughs> now we're gonna try and lure these two Gromps in with each other so that I can potentially get all the Grimps in here. Funny enough, though, that they uh, <laughs> get stuck. But yeah, this level is really short, um, but there is uh, the reason why I think I like the other level, Mountain Pass, a lot more than this one because I do enjoy this level quite a bit. It's the second area of this level that I dislike a lot. And here's how you get the dupes in: so you're supposed to break the glass and then lure the dupes in there. Uh, but since I say fuck the dupes. <laughs> We're not going to deal with that. But here's a man. Frozen. In an ice cube. We're going to fear him, free him with the, the horn. The mighty elven horn. Oh, ho, ho. Thank you, young man. I've been trapped in that block of ice for ages. No problem. Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, I don't think we've met. My name is Nick. How did you get stuck here? I was thinking about using this cave for storing the toys I make. Then the roof fell in. Right, I'd better be off now, young Gertie. Say hello to your father for me. Hmm, how does he know my name? How does he know your father? <laughs> Gertie, you're not asking the important questions here. Gertie, who is that man? Why does Nick know your father? Why does he know your name? Is he stalking you, Gertie? Are you okay? Is everything fine? Did you leave the strange men to your home, Gertie? Gertie, you're not supposed to be talking to strangers. You know that you're like 10. Or 9. Gertie, who hurt you? <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> oh, my bad. I thought I had the fucking flute on. My bad. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> my bad. I meant to protect myself with the magic flute abilities of the flute. Redundancy. <laughs> yeah. Should have gotten good. Oh, well, we're going to lead the Grimps back to an area, and I believe with the bleeps we have enough to, to break the, uh, what's it called? The lock with the uh, the bleeps, and if not, well then we'll just uh, not air this part of the footage, right? And if you're watching it, that means I did it, right? So keep that in mind. And everything will be a-okay. Alrighty. So now there are two Gromps that I want to deal with, but I don't know where their traps are. So we're going to lure them into each other and see if I can uh, start bringing the bleeps a little closer. It'll make my life slightly easier. Yep, just, just, let, them, just let them kill each other. That's fine. That works for me. Alrighty, Mr. Bleeps. You're going to follow the sweet sound of my magical flute. And, uh, you're gonna like it. So there are eight of you up here? Nice. Alright, it's a full set. Right, follow me. 
That's one, two of you fell. Come on. Not more of you are brave. Come on, you got this. Up, oh, that's three. That was that four? That's four. Yeah, come on. Just just like two more of you guys. Three more of you guys. Oh, there we go. Up. Oh, and come on, last guy, you got this. Really? You got stuck on the fucking lap? There we go. Perfect. See, you guys are smarter than those stupid ass fucking dupes. You can fall off ledges and not want me to kill myself every time I have to fucking deal with you idiots. <laughs> I hate the dupes. Alrighty, so we're gonna figure out how to lure the Gromps. What better way to lure the Gromps than to, uh. Oh, let's piss one off. Why not? Are you guys gonna get up or am I gonna. There you go. Up oh, and they're fucking fighting each other again. Okay. Nope, I can't break them up. Okay, uh, that's not good. I don't want a chance bringing the bleeps through uh, uh, two grumps. That sounds like a bad idea. We're going to hopefully figure out how to do this and hopefully maybe one of them will separate by the time I get back or maybe they'll just endlessly be fighting the world's most epic grump fight ever of all time. Who knows? But we should figure this out real quick. There's a little cave right over here, up this ledge, and then there are two traps. Perfect. So those two can endlessly fight forever, of all time, uh, and continue their greatest fight ever, of all time, ever, in uh, that pen. That didn't make any sense, but fuck it. You know what I mean. We're gonna just lure these gromps over there. I think they're dating in real life, but they, they have to put on the show. This is my headcanon uh, for... <laughs> this is my headcanon for these two Gromps right now, is that they're, they're secretly dating, but they don't want Gertie to know, so they have to they gotta pretend to kill each other. <laughs> I'm not going any further than that. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, cool. Oh, and I fell off a ledge, because I didn't know I had to jump. That was my fault. Oh well, whatever. Not that big a deal. So now we're going to lure this other Gromp. See what I'm saying? Like, from far away, they they can listen to it from far away. But it's, if it's like they're looking at a delicious fucking, uh, stupid fucking camera and their stupid fucking... Oh, that looked like that hurt. Well, actually, you know, you fell in, like, nice soft, like, I almost said sand. <laughs> you fell in, like, nice soft... Uh, snow over there, Gertie. I feel like you should be fine. You didn't like land in a puddle of ice shards or anything. <laughs> Nothing looks too painful there. Oh, let's uh, let's try that again, and hopefully this camera won't decide to to fuck me. The ass. <laughs> We're gonna lure this gromp again with the mighty sound of my horn, and the camera still wants to fuck me because I can't see where I'm running. Alright, cool. Yo, it's, this map is so fucking huge, too. Like, if I were to if I were to fucking bring it out to the, the, the full, like, quarter view, like, that shit would block out everything bro all right that's all three perfect so now we have enough with the bleeps and uh we're just going to grab them real quick this level's short i like this one i mean it would have been shorter if i just didn't kill the bleeps and managed to break the ice and then bring the bleeps over there but you know what i don't like the dupes uh, sorry not the bleeps i'm sorry i meant the dupes break the ice and bring the dupes over there but you know what i don't like the dupes so they can go fuck themselves okay I don't know how many times I gotta repeat this to to reassure that I don't like the dupes. <laughs> okay. The dupes are evil. They are worse than the, the, the Gromps, the, the gritters, the the gluters. Okay, they're they are worse than all those scumbags, right? Fuck. Fuck the dupes. 
They are the bane of Gertie's existence. This is my official uh, hate campaign towards the dupes. Well, Blackjack 2020. Fuck the dupes, okay? <laughs> That should be the next uh, political <laughs> discussion, is should the dupes be treated as equals? And of course you would say no, because you fuck the dupes, right? Yeah, fuck the dupes. Hate the dupes. Oh. Boy, do I hate the dupes. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Saw that little face of yours, Mr. Bleep. All right, so I didn't know where the uh, the bleep containment field is. Um, I kind of figured it out though. I kind of realized I was like, well, there are like ledges that animals can follow me on, right? So it's over there. Looks like oh shit, hello camera, fuck. All right, well we're gonna see if maybe the bleeps can go over there. Yeah. And I was right. So you bring the bleeps up next to uh, these little gromp pens right here and then uh, remember that area I fell down over here yeah well we gotta we gotta make sure these bleeps can uh, can you know make it without falling and then I have to go get them again but it seems like all of them made it hopefully that's what six seven and eight perfect that wasn't so bad all right, can we make this one too? Yep. All right, here we go. So uh, that's all of them. The 50% doors are open. Now we can go see Porik. And this time the the game told me the name of Porik, so that way I won't be stuck. You know what, guys? You, I'll save you guys too. Here, here you go. Just, just get put in the pens. Perfect. Stage clear. Uh, amazing. And no dupes were saved. Perfect. That should be the next challenge run. VG Games, you need to fucking <laughs> play Hurdy Gurdy and beat every level by killing all the dupes. <laughs> can you do it? This game is glitchy as shit. I'm sure you can. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> that is my official VG Myths challenge. Uh... Uh, not not VG Myths challenge, but my challenge to VG Myths. Beat Hurdy Gurdy, killing all the dupes. Every dupe. Every last one. Beat the game. Glitches are uh, acceptable. You are allowed to use glitches. You're probably going to stumble upon glitches playing through this game normally anyway, so fuck it, why not? Why would I tell you to not do that? If you want a sequence break, sequence break. Just kill all the dupes. I don't give a shit. <laughs> fuck the dupes. That's my gimmick as a wrestler, is fuck the dupes. <laughs> oh my god, I hate the dupes so much, man. It's like, they're not even hard to, to, to fucking, like, lure or anything. They're just really annoying, and every once in a while they'll, like, get turned around and shit, and just... Ah, oh, they're annoying. Well, anyway, we're gonna be dealing with pork. So, uh... Here's a new mechanic. Hold it right there, you thieving might. What? You heard me, and keep your greedy eyes off my gold. But I don't want... Don't you be giving me that now. I've heard it all before. Well, that's not very... And don't you be coming back. Be gone with you. Whoa! Hey! We sure do bump into each other a lot. I see you've made it up the top of the mountain. Oh, hello again. I don't suppose you've got any idea how to get that guy's magic hammer. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure, to be honest. porrick has got a reputation for his love of gold, though. Maybe if you sneak up to that crock of gold over there, you might scare him. Careful, though, he's very cautious about people being in his cave. When you start to creep along the ice path, a little head will pop up in the corner of the screen. If you 
you stand still when he's looking around and move slowly when he's sleeping, you can probably make it without being seen. That should be pretty easy. Maybe, but he's one sly fellow, so watch yourself and try not to make too much noise. Okay, a few things. One, Molly's a stalker. He's been following us throughout this entire adventure. He's the one who knows Nick. That's how Nick knows us. That's how Nick knows his dad. Gertie, you allowed an intruder into your life. Also, you just hold L1, which, by the way, I don't remember the game ever telling you about. So if you hold L1 to walk, it'll be fine. Uh, also, this game is mocking me, okay, because I failed this, like, four fucking times. And you're not seeing that because it's really slow when I failed all four times. I, I failed, like, I either failed right at the beginning because I jumped, and if you jump, he'll catch you, or I failed, like, towards the end uh, because I let go of L1 thinking I was in the clear. So, yeah, make of that as you will. <laughs> Also, I think I fell off the bridge, and and then like I tried getting back up, and he, it made noise. But yeah, it was funny too, cause like the first round of of doing this, like I almost made it to the end, but like I said, I started to run towards the end. And he caught me because I thought I was in the clear. Um, it, but like I I made it without him like like barely even looking at me like. <laughs> Fucking annoying. You know what? I want to refine that VG myth challenge. Beat the game with as least, uh, with the least amount of dupes being saved. You gotta kill all of them though. Just every single last dupe. Fuck the dupes, man. All right, and with that, we get the thing that breaks this entire game, and every point from this game onwards sucks. Major dick. We got the magic power camera. <sighs> Remember those bells from earlier in the level in the game? Well, they're back. Whoa! What was that? That rock just fell down. It's blocked my only way out. Hey, not to worry. I see you've got the magic hammer from Pori. Yeah, but I'm trapped. It's no use if I can't get out of here. Hey, come on now. What kind of attitude is that to have? I'm sure if we just look around... There we go! What? There's a rainbow switch over there. A rainbow switch? There are secret switches which the little people in the sky send down to help us out. They activate when you've got enough bells. That one over there is a ten bell rainbow switch. So, all you need to activate it is 10 bells. The rainbow switches can do any number of different things, from raising gates to moving giant boulders. Great. So once they're active, you just push the switch. Mm, not quite. You need to hit them with the magic hammer to activate them. I've got enough bells already. How come there's no switch? Good question. You lot up there! Get a move on and drop us a switch down here! I'm very concerned for Molly's well-being. He just yelled at the sky and it listened to them. I can't tell if that's a superpower or if God really does exist. But yeah, we'll, we'll get into the magic hammer in the next part, guys. It, anyway, we're just gonna, we're gonna meet with the gypsy. We're gonna head out of here. Um... Or not, we're not. We're just going to quit the level. See you guys for the next part.